So we slept like garbage. Jenna's alarm didn't go off. Um, luckily, mine did, or else we were screwed. Uh, and breakfast is I, I guess, whatever. Basic. I guess that's like a potato egg quiche type thing. Yum. Trying to be healthy for lunch, so we're having a salad and some fruit. Jenna's found some cool fee. Um, hopefully she likes it. Take a sip, because I already know you're gonna be like, either ah uh, or nah. Oh, thank God. Okay, so real quick, um, what do we miss about America? Um, we miss no smoking, because people smoke everywhere here. Everywhere, it's like disgusting. I think we only had two for now. We have one more. Yeah. I miss coffee. Ah, uh, she misses her Starbucks. I they uh yeah, ladies. <laughs> So we're at a, um, what is this, a cave house? These are houses that like are built in the caves or something? They're gonna let us in their house, that's what it is. But they have like a duck and a bunny and some birds. Like this is their house. We're in Gu Guadis. And there's a dog. Where does the dog go? Where'd the puppy go? Oh, they got a well. My new friend. Hi, Vivi. Hello. Hi, yeah, pop, pop. We found a puppy. Yeah, you're so cute. Aww, oh, so cute. <gasps> you want to come home with us? You want to play? They let him out of his cage. <laughs> Hi, boy, boy. The puppy. Oh, oh, oh. The puppy knocked me over. So it's, it is a cave, and it's super chill in here too. We're gonna go look around. So like this cave, like obviously they like dug out these these little enclaves to put stuff in. Um, Paco is our the guy who lives here, and he was telling us that this house cave. I'm sorry, this cave has been in his home. Ugh. Anyways, he's the fifth generation to live in here. 1873, I want to say he said it was built. Super cool. Come through the tunnel to the bedroom. It's the bedroom. It's very cool in here. It's like 84 degrees outside, but it's probably like oh, it has bubbles. Oh, this is the master's bedroom, I think. No, this is the child's bedroom. But yeah. it has their name. Oh, maybe. But they sleep with a bunch of toys and... So we're on the third floor of the cave dwelling, cave house. And uh, I mean, you can see like, maybe you can see. Over there in the distance, there's more. And this is your view from the, the top level. Pretty, pretty cool. I said, I'll take your two-story house and give you a three-level cave house. Check me. They have all these things they've collected over the years, so it's like you take a step through time. <clears throat> These are old school irons. We got some tools, axes. I'm not really sure what this is. I can't. Maybe someone will translate that for me. Look at the keys. Oh, those are cool. Keys. It's like stepping back in time, man. A yoke? Yoke. <laughs> he is scratching the bejesus out of my legs. Hey, his name is Rocky. He reminds me of, I don't know who he reminds me of, but hey, stop biting me. I'm a freaking face. 
He's cute, though. I won't trade him for the world until he, like, draws blood. Then we'll have problems. All right. Well, it was super cool here. If you're ever in, um, you know, Spain, come see this uh, cave house. Ow! So this is our first room I've actually shown you because we have like three beds. Why, why do we have three beds? Does that mean we gotta invite someone over for a slumber party? Bathroom basic, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, is that a bidet? Ooh, fancy. We made it to Granada. We have an hour before dinner, so we're gonna explore this park area. Ooh, we're super close to the statue, not super close, but we're close to the statue. I forgot to mention in the last nap, it is freaking hot. It is, um, it is uh, seven o'clock and it is like 90 degrees outside. No bueno, my friends. Couple things, look at this super cool walkway. Jenna's about to do, like, do a runway fashion show. Awesome, I'm being a photographer. And then look at all these pomegranate trees. I guess that's what Granada is known for, is a pomegranate tree, or pomegranate. So I'm gonna try to steal one later, okay? Okay, so we stumbled upon the University of Granada. It's that building that was in the background, the last one. And I asked if it was okay if we came in here because you know it's a school and all. And the guy said, yeah. It's really peaceful. This is a statue. So Jenna's all the way down there because I said, look at this cockroach. Look at him. He's so big. I don't know. So okay. I just passed by some like army guy and I was like, hola. Gun on his hip, and I feel like that's the only reason. If you would have been wearing something else, yeah, I looked twice. Just public water fountains, super amazing. I'm like super fascinated by them. Um, the hotel and we're getting ready for dinner. I'm trying to fix my hot mess hair. Mm. Anyways, um, so we try to get a clara, but they don't have that here. So he's like, oh, this is the drink of Alhambra. It's muy bueno. But at first we thought he was trying to give us free drinks, but he really wasn't. He was just telling us it's good. But Jenna, what's our verdict? Here's light. Salute. Salute. Here's light. So that freaking puppy scratched the shit out of me. Anyways, um, so the bartender just bought us glasses because we were apparently not doing it right. Um, but he just thinks we're fancy. So Jenna, tell, tell them a little bit about what's on this menu. Um, so there's tuna fish and onions pizza, mm. which sounds spectacular. And um, sangria? Yeah, okay, good stuff. Stewed, wait, stewed pork cheeks what? with red wine. So here's the pomegranate I stole, okay? I did it. I was rebel or whatever. Jenna doesn't think it's ripe. I just think they're this color here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow we'll try to crack it open. Or somewhere where we have two days where I can call down to the hotel lobby and ask for a fork or something. Bye.